All right, guys. Uh, what I have is a it's a motherboard out of a Modern Warfare Slim. Um, it is a Corona, but it's the easy Corona to mod because it's a uh, sixteen. Uh, megabytes uh, NAND so it's not complicated it's a standard NAND wire hookup I already hooked it up you could use NANDX or JRUNA uh, this is a NANDX you can read a NANDX you could do JRUN if you want Preferable, whatever you want, doesn't matter. Either one will read the NAND perfectly on this motherboard. So, I'm going to use the J Runner today. So, I'm going to take that. I'm going to use that. What you have to do is you're going to hook it up to your PC, obviously. Uh, I already have it on the on the monitor, I'll show you in a minute. And uh, you hook it up. Obviously, this two, one, two, this will flash your chip. It'll give you your whatever files that you want to program on a chip. There's a little button up to the side, uh, to the left, as I'm looking at this way, to the left is to program the chip to the right is to read the net so all right so what I'm gonna do is as you can see this has no no HANA chip so it's not a Trinity usually Trinity has a HANA chip this one doesn't so that's to prove it is a it's a Corona Anyway, so I'm gonna go into the computer. If everything is hooked up, I got everything hooked up. I'm gonna go right into the computer. I have J Run up, as you can see. Let's see if I can zoom out a little bit. Alright. So it's on J Runner. So what you do is, once you connect the JRunner to it, you got JRunner programming, you go, go in there, it's going to tell you what version this is. Alright, so I can't continue. Alright, so you know why? It's because, dumb of me, didn't connect the power. You have to connect the power, but not turn it on. So, once I connect this power, leave it like that, go back in there. And what I'm going to do is I actually going to restart restart my J Runner. All right. So now, now you're going to go back in here, click it. It's configuring. It says Corona. Corona says Corona right up here. All right. So now what you got to do is click on Renand. Okay, so now it's going to read NAND, it's going to read two NANDs, I'm going to let it read the NANDs, it's about three minutes, three minutes and change each. So I'm f for this moment I'm going to show you uh, the NAND Corona wires hookup. That's right there, as you can see it, you got the image right there. Okay, so so now you know how to hook up the wires, which is right there on J Runner itself. It has it on the image. Oh, what you got is look. It has every everything hooked up for it. Cool runner slams. Corona wire installation. This is all about cool runner, but I'm not gonna use uh, a cool runner. On this uh, mod, I'm going to use an Ace V3 chip, which is 
it's the newer version of uh, Cool Runners. I do have a Cool Runner, but I'm not going to use it. So if you want to use a Cool Runner, it has air, all the details of stuff that you got to do. Where you got to hook it up, where letters are. So, exit this out. So let's uh, sit back and relax and enjoy the NAND reading. Uh, this video will be ending after the two NAND readings and then I'll start a new video on uh, do the ACE chip installation. See it's uh, reading the NAND. Oh, by the way, this uh, Modern Warfare Slam was, I bought it with a whole bunch of them, and it had a DVD, somebody swapped a DVD, it's not reading the games, so now after I get all this information, I'm going to have to... Uh, Put the DVD key into a new drive, or the same drive, obviously, um, to read games. So, I mean, I could actually make make a video about that, how to swap the DVD key from one from this into a drive. If anybody's interested in me doing that, I'll do a video about it. All right, we have one NAND almost done. Let's see how bed blocks or no bed blocks. Let's see. How it's, uh, three minutes and actually 43 seconds. All right, it wasn't bad. All right, now see this actually was on dashboard 14719. Wow, this is actually on the low dashboard. I forgot about that. Uh, no bed blocks, which is good. So it chose glitch too, which is fine. Don't matter. I have latest dash 17511 on it. Ready to be uh, written for it after I install the chip. So this should take about the same amount, 3 minutes and 43 seconds. Um, this is actually the, the good Corona. You don't, uh, it came with a 250 gigabyte uh, hard drive, which I'm going to give it probably a 300 or maybe 500. Show more image of cool runners. Uh, it's a Corona Y installation. This is a Rev C. If you want to do a Rev C cool runner. volt which is going to be ASP3 runs on 5 volts so it's going to be this point right here I believe E ground will be right here E is same F is the same and then D I believe could be 
I believe right here and I believe right there too actually in two spots see the spot on on a v3 and C which is this run right here the same dot so it's pretty much almost the same hookup except they don't have this to make it glitch faster I chose a V3 because it's a really nice chip on a, on a slims let's see uh, it's getting there All right, guys. Um, another one. Yeah, three minutes and forty-four seconds. Uh, comparing NANs, NANs are the same, so that's a good thing. So we all set for his uh, my NANs. It's in the post out work folder right there. So all right, guys. This is uh. One tutorial how to read an end on a Corona, standard Corona, um, just like a Trinity, same kind, except it's a Corona motherboard, 16 megabytes, as you can see, uh, it was all done, and next video will be on... Installing the Ace V3 on this uh, Modern Warfare. So, I'll see you on the next video. Uh, log in into my uh, Ace V3 installation on a Corona. See ya.